Uh, hello folks, and uh, I'm now with Mercedes here in Las Vegas again. And actually, this is the second time we make the same program. Uh, we made the same program this morning, mm -hmm. and it turned out to be the lighting wasn't very good. Yeah. Yeah. So Mercedes doesn't look very nice. I was not happy with it at all. And basically, it was too early in the morning. Yeah, okay. Anyway, now we'll do it again. <laughs> but we don't know if I have the same inspiration or same drive. Anyway, we'll try to do the same, okay? Or better. Okay, now what we're talking about today is that how to buy a truck in USA. Before we do that, I want to say that uh, after this time I came to America, to Las Vegas, I understood completely, or I understood more, why the Americans love their pickups. Yes, because life won't get started without a truck. Mercedes will tell us why. It's just part of everyday life. I grew up with a car and a truck. My mom had a car, my dad had a truck. Because it's a culture of... Uh, picking up things yourself, hauling things, do it yourself. Um, when I started, I, I had just the Kia and you were in China and all over the place, Japan, China, Europe, yeah, yeah. Norway, Germany, <laughs> Sweden, Denmark. Uh, <clears throat> and I had to run around and I could only pick up what fit in a car, a hatchback. A Kia Forte hatchback. People were really, really shocked what could fit in there. Yes, I, actually, I'm very much amazed uh, that uh, you know that uh, Mercedes got this new house. It's empty. does not even have a fork and knife or, or a chopstick. There's nothing in this house. In such a short time, this lady drove such a tiny car, could transport so many furniture mm. in this house. That's really, really amazing. But when it comes to mattress or some big desk or table things, yeah. that small car cannot handle. Mm -mm. Then we realize that we need a truck as soon as possible. Now, the next question. When you come to USA, if you want to buy a truck, where can we find information? I mean, the particular truck that you are interested, where can we find them? Um, well, you can get them anywhere online craigslist and offer up is an app that i use and that was new that i found here and i had never heard of it before and i can't even remember how i came across it but yes normally we will see a uh, second hand uh, car dealers things like that but there is a website called craigslist Anyone in the state should know it. Yeah, Craigslist. I will write it down because this morning my pronunciation was wrong. So, and another is called Offer Up. Okay, Offer Up. So, these two websites you can find day to day uh, uh, situations, day to day uh, update. Well, yeah, well, it's minute by minute because it's user driven. So, whoever is posting the item mm -hmm. uh, posts it whenever they want. It's just like bulletin boards. Offer up is a little cleaner and nicer looking than Craigslist. Craigslist is still in the old bulletin board style almost. Um, but they're both easy. Everybody knows about Craigslist. And it's used things or um, uh, sometimes you can find new things. But a lot of used stuff. But good condition. We focus on cars. We focus on truck. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm talking about. Yes. The cars so, and trucks. So uh, what we uh, focus, what we located is a Ford F-150. Okay. Oh, messages. It's a Ford F-150. 150. Why? Because I have read and uh, watched so many videos about the feedback, uh, re reviews, the reviews of the trucks. Then they all say Ford F-150 is a reliable truck. 
Then I thought, now since we are in USA, we should have a US car, a truck. Then we're hunting for F-150 even before we see any of them. What happened? No, first off, he's crazy because he was back here. I don't think he was even back 24 hours. And he says, okay, let's get a truck. And he hadn't driven around. He hadn't been here in three months. Mm -hmm. He had not even realized, okay, on the road, which ones are F-150s, okay? Just like when he grabs a meal and he says, oh, or he makes food and he makes so much and he, his eyes are bigger than his stomach. And then he's full before it's all gone, but then he forces himself to eat it anyway because he can't waste food. So the next thing is the truck and the same thing happened. He did not realize how big an F-150 really is. True. Then we made an appointment and we, we wanted to go to a uh, dealer, a, a garage to see a F-150. On the way, then we saw some trucks on sale. There is a tiny, a small, nice truck put there. I was interested. I just talked to uh, Mercedes. I said, can we just uh, pull out and uh, you see the car? Then we went. What happened? Then was this the one with... This was the first one in the parking lot. Yes. A nice truck? Nice looking truck when it was driving past. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Basically, it was a truck and we were driving past. And he said, stop, because they had signs in the front yes. of the, yeah. For sale. Okay. And it just happened to be, they also had what, like a, a coconut yeah, just in drink. A, I, want, I want to make sure it's in the recording. Yes, it is. Good. Yes, and uh, the, the, then we, we, we start to talk to the people, say, who is the owner of the car? Mm -hmm. Someone came to us, and this Mexican guy said, oh, I know your face. I know your face by your video. You have been to Mexico. Yes, I have been to Mexico, and my videos are watched by so many people. Then, surprisingly, this guy, he knows me, and another guy is saying, you know, cook a lot. Coconut, coconut juice, coconut coconut juice. juice. Yeah. and it was very excited and offered us free drink. You know, it was very good uh, coconut. Anyway, mm -hmm. anyway, and uh, we was excited and um, we had a nice talk with them people. And we have the videos I will show you. We are here in Las Vegas. Oh. Hey, Almost. okay, Woo. amigo. And uh, we're trying this 100% coconut juice. Okay, three dollars for small one and five dollars for the big one. But the this is, one. yes, That's this is five dollars. Giant. Three dollars for so small. Yes, oh. this is a really good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Try. Okay, you ready? Yes. Ready? Oh. Ah. Uh, good. 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 I'm sorry. Uh -huh. You know what? Uh -huh. I've lived in Asia for the last six years. Well, uh -huh. actually ten total. But this is better. I'm sorry, Malaysia. Better Sorry, than, Malaysia. Yeah, this is yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. It's better than Malaysia and Thailand. This is USA. Yeah, that's because it's USA. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm biased. Yeah. USA and Mexico. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Yeah. Muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> I he make knew videos. Who he, was. he recognized. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, your yeah. brother know. I, I, I make video all over the world. Oh, yeah. Now I move to Las Vegas with my lady. I need yeah. a truck to move my things. Yeah. So if I buy this truck, yeah. I need repair. I'll come to you. Yeah. You have to repair it for me. Yeah. yeah. Machine shop. Mm. yeah. Okay. And you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. No, 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 no AC. You don't need a Freon. Huh? It needs Freon. Yeah. It just needs Freon. Yeah, I need a Freon. Does it have a leak? No, I have system. I have everything for need a Freon. Okay, so it doesn't have a leak. It just no. needs Freon. Uh -huh. What do you mean by Freon? Freon is the liquid that cools the air conditioner. It goes through it oh. to cool it. So if it just needs a Freon charge, that's not bad. Yeah, I need a Freon. Yeah, that's not bad. And uh, this gentleman give me a favor. Want to give me a free, a big one? I said no, 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 small one. Because everyone needs to make some money. That's enough, 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 enough. enough. It's okay, it's oh. okay. Thank you so oh. much. Okay, you will be on YouTube, <laughs> Las Vegas. 
Okay. Muchas gracias. <laughs> and what happened is this truck is a very old truck, very bad condition, but I had a test drive. Mm. Surprisingly, it drove very smoothly. But it wasn't an F-150. No, it turned out to be a... Ranger. A yes. Ford Ranger. A Ford Ranger, which is much smaller. Then by the side, there is a 150, F-150. That is huge. I sort of, wow, that's just too big for me to handle for yeah. us. Yeah, and that's when he started looking around and noticing that every time he saw a truck where he said, whoa, that's a big truck, it was an F-150. Yes. Then he realized, yeah, they're giant. Then, then we realized that a 150 is too big for us. Then the Ranger is a kind of a size a suitable for us. Then we just gave up going to that garage and came back and started to search for Ranger. Yes, what happened? Uh, we searched for a Ranger and then we found some on uh, um, offer up. So I should be up here. Yeah, maybe like this. This this is good. This is good. Okay, I see. Oh, 